Max here, the Diabetic Talk Guy. In this video, I am going to show you guys my keto, low-carb, New York-style thin crust pizza. By far the closest thing to a real New York-style pizza. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into this video. So put your oven on 350. You're gonna need one cup of mozzarella cheese and you're going to want to microwave it for around 35 seconds, depending on what kind of microwave you have. Once the cheese is melted pretty good, you can mix it around in a microwave-safe bowl. Then you want to add one whole egg. And make sure to mix the egg around with the cheese. It, it, it kind of gets into pieces, which is good. So just keep mixing it around. The cheese might harden a little bit, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure to keep mixing the cheese and the egg until they're well combined. Then you need to get some almond flour. And it's hard to see, but I use 3 fourths cup of almond flour. You can even use a full cup if you want. Um, usually the more almond flour, the better it holds together. But I just use 3 fourths of a cup. Then you need some xanthan gum. And you also need baking powder. Now I just used uh, half a teaspoon of both and then I just uh, you know laid on some almond flour on top of it just to mix it all. Then take two pieces of parchment paper put the dough in between and spread out the dough. After it's nice and spread out you can take the top layer of the parchment paper off and then you want to roll in the crust. Now depending on how much almond flour you used the crust should roll up pretty easy, but if you didn't use a lot of almond flour, it might stick kind of to the parchment paper. Just play with it. It might get a little messy, but it, it, it's not that tricky. Just keep playing with it and roll up the crust. And of course, remember, you can roll the crust um, as thick as you want. Then I put the crust in the oven and I put it in for around five minutes. Then I check on it after five minutes. Then I also put it in for another three minutes after the five minutes. So in total, about eight minutes. And I keep it in there until the crust comes out in like a golden brown, um, not burnt, but crispy, like how it is right there. And then I put on two tablespoons of just a low carb sauce. Then I just add a handful of mozzarella cheese. It's totally your preference, no carbs, won't do anything if you're keto or diabetic, it will not do anything to your blood sugar. Then the pizza goes in for about five-ish minutes, and then I check on it and keep checking on it for every couple minutes until it looks like this. Then I add it to the bottom rack so it can really crisp up and get the bottom nice and crispy and crunchy. And this is the final product. That's it right there. Great pizza, tastes amazing, really crunchy, and it should look something like this. So take a look at that close-up of the pizza. Not greasy, really crunchy, crispy, cheesy. I think it tastes amazing. Well, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put in the comments below if you're going to try it yourself. I make this pizza all the freaking time, like two or three times a week because I love it so much. I'm not even embarrassed to say it. It doesn't do a thing to my blood sugar. Usually if my blood sugar is at like 100 or 110, it'll raise it to like 120, maybe 130, and I eat the entire pizza in one sitting. The key is to use the right kind of sauce. The sauce is kind of like the variable in this equation. Make sure to use a very low carb sauce with no sugar added. But I want to hear from you guys, so put in the comments below if you're going to make this low carb keto very diabetic friendly pizza and I want to hear from you guys if you do make it put in the comments below what you think of it you can be honest if you didn't love it put in the comments below I am curious about that too but with me personally I freaking love it and my non-diabetic friends too absolutely love it but thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful put in the comments below what you think and stay tuned for many more